This is my Chocolate Lab Sadie and today we wanted to make a video to show you how to make your own wheelchair for your dog. Um, this is a question I've been asked a few different times so I wanted to put a video together but it's really difficult to do because obviously a wheelchair is going to depend on the size of the dog. So I thought I'd kind of go over the basics to help you get started. Um, the first thing is the material that you'll make it out of. Some people use aluminum, that makes a really strong, lightweight wheelchair. Um, a lot of people use PVC pipe, and that seems to be the most common um, when they do a DIY. So you're gonna need piping. Um, the size is going to depend on the size of your dog and how much weight it's going to need to support. Obviously, a bigger dog is gonna need bigger, stronger piping. You're also gonna need a saw to cut the piping and you're gonna need fittings like these. Um, these ones are called elbows and these are called caps. Um, and you're gonna need you know, the fittings to put it all together. Um, if you wanna make what I call a saddle, you will need um, material, some kind of fabric material fleece or something that's fairly strong but also comfortable for your pet. Um, and speaking of this, how this comes apart, you're going to need PVC glue to hold those together. Um, you can find that all of this stuff right at your local hardware store aside from the fabric, obviously, but you can get that at most big box stores or craft stores. The last thing that you'll probably need is going to be wheels. And those are going to be size dependent. Again, bigger dog, bigger wheels. Um, and there are so many different types of wheels that you can buy. You can buy traditional like tires with the air tubes inside. Um, most people prefer to buy like a plastic wheel that um, doesn't ever go flat so you don't have to worry about that. And you can buy those at like a tractor supply or farm supply store. Um, you, obviously you can order them on the internet as well. The other thing that you'll need to know is how to measure your dog. Um, Sadie's a little riled up right now and hopefully she'll be good so I can show you all the measurements because you're going to need a lot of them. So the first thing you want to do is get a fabric tape measure and you're going to need your dog's back height from their hips, the top of their hips to the floor. And then you're going to need their length and to do their length you want to do it from their shoulder blades to the base of the tail. The chest girth from just behind the front leg. So we're going to here, you can see Sadie's front leg and you're going to do the girth around their chest from that point. And you also want to do the front height from the top of their shoulders down to the floor again. Um, so that will give you the front and the back height. Typically the front is a little bit higher than the back. You need the width of the shoulders and the width of the hips. You also need uh, the distance from the groin to the floor. Now this is where you're going to have, as I mentioned, that harness. So the, the wheels um, and the support for the back end are here. And then there's kind of like a harness that will support your dog's um, belly and hind end as they're dragging the cart behind them. So the groin to the floor is a very important measurement. And then you want the inside distance from the heels of the front feet to the toes of the back feet. So if your dog is standing, the heels of the front feet to the toes on the back feet, and whoops, when they're standing normally, and what that distance is. Um, so that's a lot of measurements. If you click the link below this video, my written detailed guide has all of this written down so that you can follow it a little bit easier. Um, and that list of suggested materials as well. I would suggest, getting your dog's dimensions, figuring out um, the style of the cart that you want so you can do a little sketch and then you'll be able to tell how much piping you'll need because you'll add like for example the length of the back on both sides. You can add that together to figure out how much piping you'll need for that part. Um, the length of your dog obviously it has to go under and support um, so you can figure out how much piping you'll need. If you do the sketch, it's a lot easier to tell uh, the different fixtures that you'll need, like the elbows and the caps. 
Um, you're gonna use the PVC for the axle, but you're gonna wanna cap both ends, um, and then you know your wheel, so you have the cap there and it makes a little lip so your wheel can't slide off. So um, there's a lot to think about, but I would definitely recommend sketching it out, making a list of your materials, and starting from there. There are some great resources on the internet that give you kind of a base um, like a style that you can go for and then obviously you just have to cater it to your dog's measurements. I have compiled a few of those. Again, click the link below this video and you can see some of those different styles to sort of get you started and then you can plug in your dog's measurements to figure out how much of each material that you're going to need. Um, any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video guide.